Hey everyone, I'm Kevin at Victory 4x4. In today's video, we're gonna be installing our rear window molly panel in the fifth gen Toyota 4Runner. We'll start things off with a small flat blade screwdriver or a small pry tool up inside of this recessed location. You're gonna to need to remove the round plastic cover here. There's a small cutout in the bottom. You should be able to slide that screwdriver in and then just pry up to pop that free. With that out of the way, you'll need either a 10 millimeter socket or a P2 Phillips bit, and you can get this screw removed. And that can be discarded as it won't be reused. With that out of the way, you can grab the front lower mounting bracket. You'll also need one of the longer provided M6 button head bolts, which will be installed here in the round lower hole. And then on the back side, you can install the white nylon spacer and begin threading this in place. To tighten this, you'll want a four millimeter hex driver or Allen wrench. And you're basically just gonna hold this straight vertical right now and lightly snug it in place. And then you will have access to this so you can do your final tightening after the molly panel's in place. With this mount in place, we can move back here and remove these rear cargo net mounting locations. For that, you're just gonna grab it and twist to the left. You'll turn it 90 degrees and then you can pull it straight out. And then you'll need your P2 Phillips to remove the screw inside of here. Then you can grab the rear lower mounting bracket and install that cargo net tie down here into the center cutout and the bolt and spacer into the slotted hole here on the bracket. These are gonna be the same style M6 bolt and spacer as that front lower bracket and then you'll thread this into place. Again, you'll need a four millimeter hex for this bolt. And basically you'll just kind of put this straight out for now and lightly snug it into place just so that it's not moving around as we get the remaining panel and upper bracket installed. Now the upper mounting bracket will install here in this hanger location. So we'll need to get that first removed. Typically you can just kind of grab the sides here and pull out and down and pop that open. If you're having any trouble, just grab your flat screwdriver once again and then you'll need a 10 millimeter socket to get this bolt removed here. And this should pull straight out. Now the upper bracket is gonna have a cutout here to accommodate this hook going back into place. You just wanna make sure you have this in the correct orientation as it's being installed. And then you can place the hook over the mounting bracket and now find the shorter M6 button head in your hardware pack to get this into place. The rotation of this upper mount is pretty much fixed based on the alignment pin in this hook. So this one can be fully tightened in place at this time. Then be sure to snap that back shut. And now you'll wanna find a couple of the quarter 20 by three quarter long button head bolts and serrated flange nuts. Once you've done that, you can grab the molly panel itself, which will hang over the outside of this upper bracket. And you can begin by hanging it on that quarter 20 bolt and reach up behind here to thread that nut into place. With both of your upper bolts started, you can grab another quarter 20 button head and flange nut for each of these lower mounting locations. And then it's just a matter of pulling this in tight and getting things lined up and getting this hardware started. At this point, you can take advantage of the slotted mounting brackets and slots here in your panel and get this thing lined up kind of both parallel with the window opening here, as well as just making sure the appearance of all your brackets is nice and parallel and vertical on this one. And then grab your four millimeter hex to tighten up the brackets here, along with a 5 30 seconds hex now for your quarter 20 volts. 
On these ones, if you are having any trouble at all with the nuts spinning, you'll just need to grab a 7 16 wrench, but typically those serrated flange nuts are just gonna bite into the back of the mounting bracket there and snug up using only the hex driver. Now, if you purchased a pair and plan to install one over on the other side, you'll follow the same steps for that installation to complete your install. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all about this installation or anything else we offer here at Victory 4x4, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can always send us an email at info at victory4x4.com or just give us a call at 269-459-8447.